In this video, we'll discuss about coronary artery disease. So, coronary artery disease is also called as ischemic heart disease. Now, coming on to the definition, it is a subintimal abnormal subintimal collection of abnormal fat cells debris forming and atherosclerotic plaque which develops at irregular intervals in different segments of artery now coming on to the causes uh, to remember causes remember the acronym as CIA so congenital anomalies like aortitis polyarthritis by I remember ischemia it can occur due to decreased supply of blood supply of oxygenated blood to myocardium also due to small coronary vessel involvements irregular supply of oxygen or irregular oxygen demand to the thyrotoxicosis also by a atherosclerosis this is the foremost cause which causes coronary artery disease now coming on to the pathogenesis for pathogenesis we will discuss it in stage then sequence in progression then main growth mechanism earliest onset and clinical correlation now type 1 the initial stage we will have a isolated macrophage foam cell okay now in type 2 uh, we will have a fatty streak stage so what will happen is uh, intracellular lipid accumulation intracellular lipid accumulation in the third one what we will have is intermediate stage now in this type 2 changes obviously plus there will be small extracellular first it was intracellular now it is extracellular lipid accumulation okay now in stage 4 that is type 4 in type 4 there will be atheroma that is the core of extracellular lipid okay now in the stage uh, number 5 we will see that there is fibroatheroma type 5 fibroatheroma now it has a lipid core and a fibrotic layer around it now in type uh, 5 there will be complicated lesion now this is going to have surface defect hematoma uh, thrombus and hemorrhage okay uh, now this is occurring due to thrombus and hematoma okay the growth mechanism this is due to accelerated smooth muscle and collagen production the other stages are due to growth mainly due to lipid accumulation growth due to lipid accumulation now uh, sequences 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 4 can directly be lead to 6 and 6 can be lead to 5 okay now uh, uh, this is uh, during first and second decade and this is during third and fourth decade and the other ones are during fourth decade uh, also this is silent and this clinically is silent again but over here there are uh, they start manifesting okay 
Now coming on to the effects. In effects, we have mechanical effects like transient my uh, transient left ventricular failure, uh, myocardial infarction, uh, stable angina, angina pectoris, heart failure, dyskinesia, segmental bulging. In biochemical, uh, suppose this is a myocyte to remember easily, uh, we will see that there is an increased efflux of K positive and there is an increased influx of Na positive. Okay. Also, there is a tall T wave of which, uh, which uh, shows a hyperacute myocardial infarction. Then electrically, uh, there are more, uh, there is an inversion of T wave. ST segment is displaced okay uh, this is the uh, effect also uh, I forgot to mention the risk factors are important to mention in risk factors we can mention about age gender then the ethnic group family history smoking or drug history then hyperfibrogenemia hyperhomocysteinemia also obesity uh, is a big risk factor than mental stress deficiency of PUFA then uh, one more risk factor is that there is a low level of antioxidant vitamins okay uh, then with that uh, now coming on to the management first of all uh, primary prevention so for primary prevention uh, no smoking and a regular exercise basically a healthy lifestyle uh, idle weight uh, then mixed diet now by drugs uh, this is uh, basically we will work upon the underlying cause so first of all acetyl uh, salicylic acid like aspirin uh, acid ASSA stands for aspirin also uh, this prevents the excessive clotting and the prevents the future attack then uh, antiplatelets like clopidogrel or we can say prasogrel antiplatelet clopidogrel prasogrel then ACE inhibitors ACE inhibitors like enalapril captopril then uh, uh, beta blockers the cardio selective beta blockers like metoprolol and carbidolol then coming on to the another one which is very important statins now what are statins statins are cholesterol lowering medications okay uh, like we have atorvastatin lovastatin also we can give nitroglycerin nitroglycerin is a very important drug which is given in angina pectoris